Hello guys, good day and back again for another tutorial. So, our tutorial for today is on how to add a domain for your Fusion PBX. Okay, so uh, once again, this is HBT tutorial for your basic tutorial for some dialers and uh, telephone system, IP base or software base telephone system okay so for today uh, uh don't forget to like and share subscribe and click the notification bell so that you're always updated on our latest video okay guys well, uh we are now in our installation before the fusion pbx so we will add a domain and configure it the uh ssl for this one and then uh our next tutorial for this Fusion PBX will be configure the carrier or the trunk, the gateway. Uh, it means the in Fusion PBX is a gateway. So, so let's check here the on how to configure or add your SSL for uh, Fusion PBX. Okay. Support. so this is the doc documentation for the on how to on how to add or configure your SSL so as you can see this one okay 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 so you need this one okay 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 guys so let's start for configuring first we need to uh, you need to configure your assign your IP to your designated domain so for me I'm using uh, my DNS domain controller is on route 53 on AWS so you can choose if you have an uh, uh, other hosting or domain DNS provider like uh, Namecheap, GoDaddy, and others. So, just add an just add another A record so that you can you can create your own other domain. So, just create a record from here. You can add your subdomain name. Fusion PBX. Okay, and then on the value of you can put your vision pbx public ip okay then create record okay and then wait a few uh, minutes uh, sometimes it takes 24 hours before propagating the domain to your new to your new uh, ip or Okay, so as you can see, we are uh, we are uh, we can now able to access uh, using our domain name. Okay, so now we're going to uh, set up the domain. So first, you need to allow the port uh, HTTP port so that the uh, and the HTTP port. So allow to anywhere for now. Let's save. Okay, and then uh, going back here. So you need to download the dehydrated. So just click the dehydrated. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is the file that we need okay 
so just log in to putty right now okay So, I'm successfully logging on Putty. So, let us check if we have already that file. So, we're using here a Debian 10, I think. Yeah, it's a Debian 10. Okay, so, uh, we need to check if we have a uh, Let's Encrypt installed. Okay, we don't have yet, so we need to download the file. Okay, so okay, so uh. So Fusion PBX contains let and see the following will do. Okay, so we need to do this one. Okay. Check this one. Okay, so I need to uh, clone this one to my cdx10.2 ok so you need to change the directory to cd slash h let's check if we have degraded here so we don't have so we can put here git clone then paste ok then after that so we have already uh, ok Okay, I think it's that okay for now, and then we need to uh, back to check the configure the host name. Okay, so we can put our domain here. Okay, so a domain name. Fusion PBX that HP tutorial that TK. Okay, copy this one. And then you can also put this one up here. You can remove this one. Okay. No need. Okay, then control zero, save. And then host name. Replace this one with your domain name. Then after that, you need to go back to here. So you can check this one. Change your directory. And S. So as you can see, you will see here the uh, let's encrypt this one. Okay. The script is already there, so just run this one for the single server. Okay, save. Then put your domain name. So fusion pbx fusion pbx tutorial and then your email address, so that you can receive a notification uh, a month before for the renewal or days before okay so as you can see you it uh, it's a very important for the degraded config so you need to download the then created from the github so you need to wait until you successfully requesting the certificate so as you can see, they said successfully. 
So, uh, to check our uh, certificate, this one, the directory. So, let us see if we have uh, already on SSL here, the SSL file. So, as you can see, we have here a full chain and private key already. So, if I refresh my page, let's see if, uh, if we get unsecured. Oh, as you can see, we have now a valid uh, SSL certificate for our Fusion PBX. If I open on the other browser, I'm up successfully configured our SSL certificate for your for our Fusion PBX. So let's try to log in. Okay, so we have successfully installed our uh, SSL and domain on our Fusion PBX. So just need to go on the on here so this is the documentation for SSL certificate let's encrypt then use this degraded to download it to git clone and then you will successfully create your uh, Fusion PBX let's encrypt certificate okay so So, so guys, this is all for now, our tutorial on how to very basic uh, tutorial adding. Let's, let's, let's encrypt certificate for your Fusion PBX so that it will see uh, when you access to HTTPS, is to, you will see you have a valid SSL certificate. So, we use uh, let's encrypt certificate. Okay, guys, thank you again for watching my video. So, once again, this is HBT tutorial for your open source applications, basic tutorial and installations. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so that you're always updated on my latest video. Thank you guys and have a nice day. Back again for another tutorial, uh, our next tutorial for Fusion PBX, adding a gateway. We will configure the gateway and uh, additional users for uh, if you have a lot of clients because Fusion PBX is, is a multi-tenant client. You can add more client here. So more if you have a lot of copies, you can configure here if you want to separate the domain for offices okay thank you guys and have a nice day so i'll back again for next video thank you and bye bye